beer review tonight getting into one from this is hard to pronounce for me the tuatara is that right guys i'm not too sure they're out of new zealand and this one's their double trouble an extra dimension apa nine percent abv limited release it says this thing's a hop showcase brutal 167 ibu monster uh, malt base, Chico yeast together construct the perfect platform for stunning multiple editions of so many hop varieties no mere beer label could hope to list them all. Your overwhelmed taste buds will know the feeling. I'm excited. Came with 3D glasses and everything. Put those on, you read that label. <laughs> Good marketing ploy. Look at this cap too, you guys might not pick that up. It's pretty cool. It's like that Lord of the Rings eye or whatever the hell that is. Okay, let's get this poured. Whoa, aggressive. Right. Generous carbonation on that. <clears throat> Quick look, guys. Pretty crystal clear, beautiful golden orange beer. Looks like a nice double IPA. Packed, tight head. Like I said, very carbonated, so you know, you get that nice meringue kind of head. Let's uh, get on, get a nose on this one. Jeez. Man, is that a big hop aroma. I think get a nice bit of malts though too. You definitely get the malts in there. A little bit of tropical, a lot of tropical hop, a lot of citrus in there and a good bit of like sweet, sweet aroma. Kind of that malty, maybe a bit caramel bready kind of sweetness there. Slight dank hop aroma. Man, this thing smells pretty great. Oh, wow. Tons going on. It smells awesome. Let's get into it. Cheers, guys. Ooh. Ha. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> that and initially you get you get the nice sweetness, you get these hot bursting flavors, tropical, good maltiness too. And there's like a flash of bitterness and it's like the first wave of this kind of onset bitterness. Your mouth kind of dries out and then it almost kicks again and wow. Big IBU on that for sure. You can, you get it. Oh yeah, that's nice. That initial though, that big flavor coming through. Like I said, you get the citrusy, tropical. There's a nice dank hop presence too. Like they say, they must use so many different hops in that. You get get everything in there. Not super piney. Maybe a bit on that dry bitter finish you get a bit of that piney kind of resiny hop as well wow and for the 167 ibus it doesn't just keep dragging out either it does its job and it's kind of settles and this is a really good beer this isn't disappointing me at all very tasty very tasty beer. Wow. Yeah, 9% hidden. Hidden well, you guys, like you tend to notice on these good beers, you don't pick up any alcohol on a 9%. This is no exception. It's pretty delicious. Quite drinkable for the uh, massive IBU. To me, it's, it's drink with this bomber, no problem. It's good stuff.
you never know these days too when it comes with 3d glasses it's a new brewer to the city and well it's from new zealand 167 ibu and kind of sold right there i'll give it a try but this one comes through good stuff Yeah, finding a way to be balanced, but still such a big, uh, bitter monster. Well done. The Tuatara. Tutara? Tutara? <laughs> anyway, let me know if anyone's seen these or tried anything else from them. Just now, this is the only one we've got come here, but definitely excited to see more. For me, I'm really enjoying it. I'm going to give it a 91. Excellent beer. I'll pick it up again too if it's not already gone or if it's here by the weekend. Get another bottle. Good stuff. Tasty brew. Anyway, thanks for putting up the rambling on this one, guys. Excited about this one, though. Anyway, till next time. Cheers.